Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Steelbook opening where I'm going to be taking a look at this new design 4K Steelbook for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Now this is the second Furiosa Steelbook that I have picked up, yes. Um, but let, let's take a quick look. So yes, a Furiosa, Furiosa and Mad Max Saga came out in the cinema a little while ago. Didn't really garner much interest, partly because number one, Mad Max isn't in it. Um, and also it's been quite a bit of time since the Tom Hardy one anyway. So it's one of those films that flopped, um, sort of hit the streaming sites very quickly and subsequently went to physical media rather fast as well. Now, the first still book I picked up was this one here. Um, I've just dropped the bloody J card down the side of the cupboard next to me, so I'll have to fish that out in a minute. Um, yeah, this one here was the first, and I picked it up um, because... And yeah, and anyway, so then we have this one, which I, I much preferred the look of. Um, so I, I kind of opted for this. I had a, um, I had a, my account credited in Italy for 30 quid for a damaged steel book that was sent my way. Um, they refunded me. They told me to keep it and refunded me it. And I used that to, to get this one this one in the collection um i pre sort of pre-ordered it with that and uh, lo and behold it sort of come today i didn't expect it i wasn't even sure when it was coming out here in the uk we do get this version on the 14th of october i believe it is but yeah so we're going to open it up and take a look now so i'm not going to adjust the camera because again everything shall i adjust the camera i'm going to try it i'm going to try give me a minute all right, so there we go. I've managed to make a bit of room there. Obviously, you can see the window in the reflection, but I'll try and sort of keep that out of the way. But yeah, so here we have the steel book. Let me get the, the plastic off first before anything else. Um, like I said, this one came from Italy. Um, so we've got a slight dent there. Very slight little dent thing there um minor minor I, i'm not sure i'll make any issue with that unless there's anything else on here i'm sure that one there i can i can sort of live with um but yeah so let's take a look obviously we get no title on this um it's just an image i i think i may have liked the title to be on it the title was on the j card there at the top as you can see let's go around to the back and there we have obviously it's all in italian but we have all your special features and we have all the tech specs etc there that you can take a look at 148 minutes obviously a very long film and I don't even know if you can make that read out. Probably, you can probably make that writing out just about with the subtitles and whatnot. But yeah, so let's take this off. Okay, so here we go. Here we have the, the steel book like so. Um, nice image. Very osa there. And... Um, Chris Hemsworth's character at the top. I like the image. I like the colouring. The orange, yellow, green. Um, I think that's got a nice effect to it. The colour wraps, wraps around to the side. Um, and on the back, we have that there, that image. So it gives you that as an entire image, which is nice. So let's take a look at the inside. So there we have the two discs, art on that disc, art on that, both the same but different colour, and we have the interior image there, which is a nice image. By contrast, let's take a quick look, you know, that was the front of the one that we have here in this country currently, that's the back, and to open it up, 
we get that as an image inside and only are on one disc so obviously the one that you like best is well it's subjective isn't it it's, it's art so it's a subjective choice um i think i prefer this one just a shame that there's no like i said art on the actual or title on the actual cover but we can't have it all all right so yeah so there we go another look at the front and back together nice shame about the tiny tiny little ding but like i said i i don't know if i can even be bothered at this moment in time um it's very minor what would you do about that would that bother you i'm, I'm inclined to let that one go um i know that some people might say you know it's you know you expect brand new you do but at the moment i'm just feeling like i can't board with the hassle of it to be honest with you but i just can't be can't be bothered but no it's a nice steel book um what i'm going to do with the other i don't know whether i'll keep it or whether i'll pass it on or whatever i've got no idea at the moment but um i'm inclined to only keep one of the steel books to be honest um being this one so yeah time will tell what i decide to do with that anyway so there you go just mad max furiosa a film that's grown on me after my first watch i think i've done a couple of watches of it and it's certainly grown on me more and more each time i watch it it's, it's a decent film yeah anyway see you on the next one take care